guys. What are you doing? Hey. Hey. Look who we got here. We got some company. Yeah. Brother. We're just gathering some firewood. We're going to build a fire and cook up some dinner. How are you going to build a fire with all this snow? Well, why don't you stick around and we'll show you. Yeah. Come on over to our camp. Oh, well, welcome to our camp. Yeah, come on in. Look us up at all. We'll have it warm and toasty here in just a little bit. So, who are you guys? Well, we've been called mountain men by some. Yeah. I I go I go by the name Stray Dog. My <laughs> name's White Wolf. We've been wandering the hills for a lot of years up here. So, how many? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if I can remember. That it's meeting. been a long time. I, I I can tell you that. We did. We ended up and got some bark off those trees. You see, bark. It's not bad. It's a little wet, but not bad. I, I, I think I found some some better. You want to use that? Oh yeah, that'll work good with this so, here. So this this bark is uh, off the cedar tree off yonder. It's always good to carry dry bark with you. Yep. In case you get in a snowstorm like this here, and we had a few days ago. And see, see how he's ruffling that up. See, so you ruffle that up and make a nest. Come on in closer so you can get a good look. You ever seen a bird nest? That's what that's what I'm gonna make is a bird nest right here. Now this here, this is a very important things here for us. This is our flint and steel. I keep it in this here tin here so it stays nice and dry. This is my flint and this is my steel. Here, we'll take, take a good close look at this. See, see how you got like a little bit of a bird's nest right here? That's important. You'll see why in just a second. What I got here is I got some char cloth. That there's 100% cotton. We put it in a can like this here one, put it in our fire, and it chars it. What it does, it catches spark really good. So that's what we made here already. You close enough you can see this? Okay. I'm ready. Oh, there get you those right sparks there. get on there and it starts smoking. Then he takes that there, brother sticks it inside there. See? You see see that glow right there? See how that starts glowing red? Then we're gonna stuff that right down in that nest right there. You gotta make sure you have some little kindling here. Cause Fires is like people. You don't want to feed a baby a great big steak. So you got to give him just a little tiny baby food to start out with. And there's your little little bit of flame. Get it back again. Just like that. Got to have lots of oxygen in there so it can go. Because this other stuff's a little bit wet. Just kind of baby it along there, and we'll have a fire going in no time at all. Put this here back in, keep it dry. Put it in my possible bag. Every mountain man should have a possible bag. After being out in the hills for a while, you start learning what burns good and what doesn't. On these here sticks, if they snap, then that's the way you want it. If they don't snap, then they're not good. See, that didn't really snap real good. Everything's kind of wet, but it'll dry out. Now, if you really want something good, see over yonder, that uh, red pine needles? That stuff burns good. But we real didn't, good. But we didn't want to hike over there. We figured we found sufficient here. So what are you girls doing out in this area? You just out wandering around or? We were just going for a hike. But it looks like you guys are like camping here. Oh yeah, we got everything we possibly need here. We could just stay yep. the whole night here. And when you're mountain men, you always carry around what you need. You never know. What are you doing in the mountains? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> we're doing what every mountain man always does in the mountains. 
looking for beaver. That's right. And I think we found it. Looky there. Beaver pond. Yep, we got a beaver pond right here behind us. All right, we got some beaver pelts right here. See one there? There you go. Look at that there, brother. Oh, yeah, that, that's a good one. Not real big, but it's pretty good quality. Look at that. Show them why, what we're looking for. Hey, see, so you, you got the guard hairs that, there. That ain't, that ain't what you're looking at. What you're looking at is that little fluff. See that fluff underneath? You only get that fluff in the cold weather. That's why we're out here in the cold weather. Yep. If, if you, it's not cold weather, you ain't going to get that fluff underneath, and that's important. So you're probably wondering why we want the beaver now. Yep. All right. Well, go ahead. Beaver is money for mountain men. Everything is based off beaver pelts. Like if I wanted to buy my brother a horse, they'd say it's worth five beaver pelts. Or if I wanted a new knife, they'd say it's going to cost you one beaver pelt. Everything's by beaver pelt. And the reason is because somewhere back east, somebody wanted a big high top hat made out of felt. Like Abe Lincoln, I remember he had one just like that. That's right. Yep. Everybody wants one. Even, even have, in Europe. Oh yeah, back Europe, yeah, they want back there too. All, all them fancy dudes clear back in Europe and England and, and that. big fancy suits and their big high top hat. Yep. Yeah, so we come out here and we get the beaver pelt for them. Because they make wool out of it to get that wool top hat. Just so those guys can look all pretty and fancy. And besides, why wouldn't a person want to be out here? <laughs> Well, we've been out here so long now, I don't know we don't know what to do, would we, brother? No. About all we know now. So why are you dressed like how you are? Why are you dressed that way? Well, we've been dressed like this for years. Well, you remember when we first came out? Oh, yeah. We, yeah. we, we had nice cotton clothes. Yeah, and, like your long johns. Yeah, like my long them. johns, but I still got them. I'm protecting them <laughs> for these cold days like this. But... Pretty soon, they wear out. And what do you do? There's no store around here. Yeah, where are you gonna buy new clothes? So you go to the people that's been living here for centuries. That's the Native Americans. They've been here for centuries. And you go to them and how, learn how to it, make it, Yeah, you learn leather. how to make your own clothes. So, we got- That's why we're in leathers. Elk britches and elk shirts. What they call us would be free trappers. Because we just go on our own, we trap, and then we take them in and sell them. You get some company men, and those company men, some company hires a group of men to go up in the mountains and trap and get all the beaver pelts, bring them down to that company. Those there guys, they furnish them with clothes and guns and all that, and they yep. feed them. So but they also have to have to obey the rules. It's kind of like being in the army. Yeah, and we're kind of have a hard yeah. time with the rules. I, I, yeah. I don't like people telling me what to do. I kind so, of like to do my own thing. We kind of do our own free trapping. That's why we got the long hair and beard. If you're in a company you're in, it'd make you shave and cut your hair. And I don't see no need for that. That sounds cold to me. Exactly. Besides, the natives, they don't cut their hair. It's worked for them for a lot of years. Yep. What's around your neck? Like, what's all those beads and everything? <laughs> These are memories. Yep. Yeah, and, and they give you strength and power. Why? Could could be money too. Oh Did, yeah, yeah, worth but, money. There, there's there's times when you get in a bind, and sometimes having a good strand of beads can get you out of a lot of trouble. Remember that one guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 I remember that one. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. That, sa that saved his skin, having a good strand of beads. Yeah, that well, I'll did. tell you about that someday. Some of it, you know, has sentimental value. You yeah. know, like like this here, my woman made this here for me. I just kind of remember her by it. My daughter made this here for me. I remember her by it. Why, this here's a big bear I got. So I remember the hunt that I went on. And 
This is the bear me and my daughter got together, so I remember that there hunt. So they have little the memories and yeah. trinkets, I guess, to remind you of stuff. We don't have a lot of other stuff up here to remind us of things, so we carry it on us. That's but right. It kind of gives us strength. It feels like the people's with us, you know. I got my wife and my daughters here with me because they got stuff with them. But where is your family? Well, where were they? Back we, east. We left them somewhere. Back east, I think. La last I heard. Yeah. Yeah. The last last I heard, they, they were they were back east. What was that town they were in? Anyway. They're all taken care of. We they, send stuff to them yeah, once in a while. We, we send stuff to them, so they're all good. We just haven't spoke to them for a little while. What else would you girls like to know? Well, what do you have, like, what's your bag and what's that horn thing? Well, this is called our possible bag. The reason is because it's got everything we possibly might need in there. Yep. What's in you it? You see my flint and steel? I had that in there. Of course, it's got the stuff to load my gun. Yep. My got, got loader. Some, got, I got, got some, some little ammo. 100% wool here in case I need to make some more jar cloth. Yep. I got a piece of that. Yeah, you know, just the bare necessities a feller needs. A few lead bullets. And this here, here take, take a close look at them. What do you think of that? They don't look like normal bullets. Yeah, well, that's, that's what these rifles of ours shoot, is just round balls. This here powder horn here, that there holds my powder, my black powder, to yeah. load in my rifle. You ever got seen a little black major powder? and got powder. Show them what the black powder made. They have never seen black powder before. There you go. There's a little black powder. You want to see what it does? That's what it does in an open fire. A closed thing creates an explosion which throws the bullet out the rifle. Why, we could show them if you want it. How would you like that? Sure. Well, let's see. So, with your rifle, you gotta make sure and keep it protected. Because that, that's a thing of life or death right there. If you don't have a rifle out here, you're gonna be pretty hard done by. little measuring cup. You gotta get the right amount in there so it throws the ball out the right way, the right distance. Not enough, it won't go all the way too much. Jeez. It could possibly blow your gun up if you're not careful. See how you measure that out? And you pour that down the barrel. Remember them, them lead balls I was showing you? You need one of them, and you need a patch. Right there, that feels like what I need right there. Then you lay the patch there, take the lead ball and stick it right there. A little bit behind you. Good thing we're not under attack. <laughs> yep. That's one thing about this, is it takes a little time. There's when a, you're under attack, there's my ball starter. Whenever we're under attack, we always shoot in sequence. Yep. That always helps. Ramrod, ram it down in. So now we got the powder the wad and the bullet in there now we just need something to light it all off with you caught up with me yet brother not yet so you got right, me covered right here use these little caps 
See that? That little cap. I got a loader, I'm cheating. Goes right on there. Like that. The feller's ready. Yep. In theory. In theory. You gonna try yours, brother? Well, we can you see that. Well, let's let's put a hole in that ice right there. Don't drain the pond. Okay. Bye, George. We, we done, did. We done put a hole in the ice. Yeah. Well, what you gonna shoot at, brother? I think I'll shoot the dead tree. That work? Sure enough. Try, try that little patch of snow. Just okay, about halfway it. up there. That was I what I'm talking about. That one right there. That's how it's done. Just like that. Blow it out so it's ready to go for the next shot. Yeah, we usually always keep them loaded, but we'll load them later for you. Yeah. You never know when you might need them. Oh, that was so loud. <laughs> Yeah, it can be. Definitely loud they are. What do you do with you? What do you shoot with your guns? Well, that's how we get dinner. Yeah, all of our food, Elk, everything. Deer, bear, buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> buffalo. There's nothing better than buffalo. That reminds me. I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I am. What? Do you got any buffalo on ice? Why, by dang, I do. Right here. There we go. Remember this here when we cut off? Oh, yeah. We were saving it for a special occasion. That's kind of big. Let's size that down just a little bit. You cut, and I'll pick. All right. Here's yours, here's mine. Oh, we we got to get some more wood. Yep. Let's put it Here, back on put, ice. Put it back on ice there for a minute. Well, we go get some wood. Let's get some wood. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.